everyone. So in today's video, we're going to go through the rest of the ways that we've talked about that we can start to calm down when we feel upset after we've taken our big deep breath and we've gotten some more air to our brain. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So just like we talked about yesterday, when we start to feel upset, it's super important that we pause and take a deep breath. <sighs> We go back and try to handle our emotions or solve our problems so that way we can be calm, safe, and ready to go play. So the first one we're going to talk about today is the substitute play. This is when you decide to do something different than what you originally started doing. So maybe you're trying to build with Legos and you're getting really frustrated with it. So you can choose to do something else. Even though you really wanted to play with Legos today, maybe Legos is just hard today. So we'll decide to do something else. Maybe Play-Doh, or you can color, or even go outside and play. The next way that we can choose to handle a feeling or to solve a problem is when we choose to redirect our attention to something that we know calms us down. So if you're starting to feel upset and you know going off to sit by yourself helps to calm you down, that's what you'll choose to do. Or maybe sitting with a book helps you to calm down or even coloring. So when you choose to redirect your attention to something else, you're choosing not to focus on what made you upset, but instead focus on something that you know helps you to calm down. Next, we're going to talk about what happens when we choose to wait and see to help us solve our problems or handle our feelings. So when we choose to wait and see, we're choosing to get more information about something before we make a decision. So maybe we see some friends playing with a ball and we're gonna wait and see what kind of game they're playing or if it's a game that we would like to play. And then we can go ask if you can play too. The next way we can try to handle our feelings is to take a pit stop. When we take a pit stop, we're checking in with our bodies to see if there's anything that we might need. Are we tired? Are we hungry? Do we need to go lay down for a little bit and rest? Or do we need to maybe go get a snack and that's why we're feeling kind of cranky? So when you choose to take a pit stop, you're just taking a minute to make sure that your body doesn't need something that might be affecting your feelings. Lastly, we're going to talk about when you choose to reframe how you think about something. So instead of getting frustrated or maybe sad about the way that something happened, we choose to look at it a little bit different and try to find the good things that maybe happened. So if a friend decided that they don't want to play with you anymore, instead of being sad or frustrated that they don't want to play, we try to look at it a different way. Well, maybe now you can go play with a new friend or you have the chance to finally go play with somebody that you didn't get to play with before. 